Today we're making spaghetti alla vongole. 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 Una vongola. Vongola is one. Vongole is a few. Uh, spaghetti and clam sauce is uh, what, what we uh, refer to it in America. It's one of my favorite dishes. Anyway, so this is what we're going to make for you today that is featured in my new book, The Killer Menu. In my first book of fiction. Click below in the link and order a copy. Let me know how you like it. I think you're going to love it. It's delicious and it's sexy and it's about family and it's about food. So all the things I like and maybe a little murder in there. Not something I love, but you know, I love reading a murder mystery based on some of the chefs that I've worked with. No, not really, not you. There's no, nothing about you other than, you know, handsome and sexy. Um, it's, not me. it's a book about a chef that sort of travels the world to learn different recipes and uh, ends up opening his dream restaurant called The Killer Menu. And one of the recipes he learns how to prepare is uh, this recipe for vongole uh, in his travels. Only appears in The Killer Menu. Uh, it is not in any of my other cookbooks. Okay, what are we going to need? Spaghetti, some clams. Garlic, parsley. When you're bringing any kind of shellfish home, like clams or mussels or oysters, when the fishmonger or the grocer packages them, they're not closed in plastic. And if they do put them in plastic, it just should just be open. That's really important when you're buying clams, oysters, or mussels. Leave the bag open. They're breathing. You don't want to suffocate them. So we're mincing the garlic. So you don't... Uh put wine in this recipe. I think you do put wine in this recipe. I, I do, but uh, you don't. Well, maybe we should add it to the recipe. Let's See? add it. Absolutely. Okay. We're going to add this to the recipe. We're going to use the Joseph white wine. It's only available if you do a retreat. And then you get to drink as much of it as you like. We've chopped everything. Parsley, garlic. So, you know, I love to multitask. So, you know, that pasta pot should be going at this point. All right, are we ready to roll? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's do it. A little bit of olive oil. Shouldn't be too hot because, you know, I hate putting anything garlicky and anything very sizzly because you're going to burn the garlic. It has to be cool, so that's why he's pulling it up off the fire so it doesn't burn because what you're doing is you're just scenting the olive oil with the garlic. I think it's okay. Yeah, I would do a little bit, just let it a little bit longer and then go for it. I think you're good. I like giving them instruction while I'm drinking a glass of wine. That's really cool. We're doing two portions right now, just so that you know. The actual portion in the recipe will be more. Obviously, you can then double that. I think the recipe is four to six portions. And we're sort of steaming them now. So how long do these cook for? Two, three hours. Just kidding. <laughs> Maybe four to five minutes and that's it. Not even, you know. They just have to open up. You don't want to cook them too long because then they're going to overcook and then they're going to be very rubbery. But I think, you know, anywhere from two to five minutes, depending on how many you have. We don't have very many, so it's going to go fast. Oh my God, that smells so good. I wish we had smell-o-vision. Oh, that smells heavenly. And we're making the pasta at the same time. So you start the pasta water, throw the pasta in, do the vongole. The pasta should be al dente, which means it's a little bit hard on the inside and soft on the outside. It shouldn't be mushy. Mushy is bad. Sometimes when you're gonna throw it into this, you make it just a little more al dente, a little less cooked because you're gonna be putting it in the pan. When you put it in the pan, it's cooking. It's okay if it has a little bit of water in it because it just gives it a little bit of moisture and that's fine. Give it a little toss or you can use the tongs if you're not comfortable throwing it in the air. I mean, we're very comfortable throwing it in the air. Add a little bit of liquid to it. Always add pasta liquid when you're throwing things into a pan with an ingredient. A little bit of salt, yeah? Uh, in the vongole? No, because there is the salt salty in water it. inside, so... Uh... So you don't. I, I don't, but I like very salty stuff. So that's a good tip. So what he's doing now is he's just trying to get like the moisture incorporated 
and he's just reducing it with the wine and the water to make it a little saucier. I'm like getting really, like my mouth is watering, I'm getting really excited. Then there's the, the real question, how do you eat vongole? And we're gonna show you that after we plate it up because I have a specific way that I eat vongole. Parsley would be nice. Should I get the parsley from the garden? See. Si. This is not from the garden. Si. Liar. The way to eat vongole for me, I actually take all these out, I scrape out the clam, I put the clam away. <laughs> so I have a plate full of clams, not shells, and then I eat it. Is that how you eat it? Okay, so we eat it the same way. Okay, cool. All right, should we taste this puppy? I'm letting him taste it first. What do you think? Mmm. 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 Very good. Bueno. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Bueno. All right. I feel like I have like olive oil all over. All right. So, mouth is full. Thank you for sticking with us. If you've come this far, just know that we love you. And please like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. We're going to eat our bongole now and drink our wine. That's my one. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Chin chin, bon appetito, and ciao. Don't forget to buy the killer menu. And write a good review for me. Thank you. Peace.